Every time DJI teases a new mini drone, the tech world holds its breath. And right now, we're in that moment. The DJI Mini 5 Pro isn't just another upgrade, it could change the game for hobbyists and pros alike. Leaks hint at a redesigned body, sharper sensors, and longer flight times that make your old Mini feel outdated. Today, we're breaking down everything we know, and a few smart guesses, about DJI's most exciting launch of the year. Credit where it's due, this scoop came from Jasper Ellens via Drone XL. His source didn't even spot the new CZ class sticker on the bottom. But Jasper? Oh, he zoomed in like his eyes were twin telephoto lenses and bam, there it was. This little label confirmed what we didn't dare hope for. The Mini 5 Pro is still playing in the sub 250 gram league. It instantly reminded me of what Insta360 did with their 360-degree drones, stuffing big league tech into pocket-sized frames. Except here, DJI didn't just shrink the tech. They kept all the cinematic power and made it lighter. Imagine giving a sports car the towing power of a pickup without adding an ounce. That's basically what we're dealing with. Now here's where it gets sci-fi. LiDAR Obstacle Avoidance Current minis use visual sensors, which are great until you're in low light, blinding sunlight, or flying over flat, boring landscapes. LiDAR doesn't care. It's firing laser pulses like it's auditioning for a Star Wars remake, meaning it can detect obstacles in total darkness, through fog, or even spot thin wires that would normally ruin your day. This opens up crazy possibilities. Safer landings on boat decks, rooftop takeoffs at night, or threading through dense forest trails without clipping branches. Combine that with a 330-degree gimbal rotation, and you're pulling off corkscrew shots, upward tilts, and cinematic reveals that used to be Mavic 4 territory. It's not all flashy features. DJI's made some smart quality-of-life upgrades, too. The props now have a tap-and-twist change system, meaning no more wrestling with tiny screws mid-field. The prop guard design? Sleeker, rounded tips for quieter flights and better efficiency. There's even talk of quasi-ducted guards for a touch of aerodynamic wizardry. And get this, there's a side button that can power up the drone without touching the controller, and possibly even auto-activate when you unfold it. That's dangerously convenient, in the best way. This is where every photographer's ears perk up. A full 1-inch sensor paired with a 24mm equivalent f1.8 lens. That's usually heavy drone-only territory, but here it is, still under 250 grams. Low-light performance, miles ahead of older minis. And yes, it shoots 4K at 120 frames per second, perfect for buttery slow motion. There's also a 48mm mode that crops into the sensor for lossless zoom, something older minis couldn't dream of. This means you can get tighter, more cinematic shots without lugging around a heavier drone. Battery life? 36 minutes. Not a huge leap from the Mini 4 Pro, but considering the extra tech on board, it's still a win. And with full omnidirectional obstacle sensing, this little flyer will follow you cycling, running, or skateboarding without panic diving into a tree. Here's the frustrating part. No listings yet. DJI's holding back for a late September reveal. My guess, around $900, but I want to hear yours in the comments. Meanwhile, Insta360's shaking things up with its anti-gravity drone, a sub 249 grams, 8K 360 degree flyer, dropping August 14th, 2025. DJI might own the cinematic crown, but Insta360's aiming squarely at creators. Either way, the Mini 5 Pro looks like the most powerful lightweight drone yet. So, will DJI rule the skies, or will Insta360 steal the show? Drop your thoughts below, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for our full hands-on soon.